Hi everybody. I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about our new moon that is coming up on Monday the 21st, next Monday, or this coming Monday. I'm recording this on Thursday. So um, we have a new moon service, of course, and the new moon is also happening on the eclipse. And it's a really potent time of year, and it's a really potent time just in general for um, spiritual energy, especially because of this big eclipse. So it's really significant that the new moon is occurring on the same day. It's also the time of year when Hecate is, um, is honored or recognized. And I have mentioned, some of you may remember that I've mentioned before that I was born on one of the days of Hecate, Hecate's um, feast days or holiday. Um, so I do honor her every year. She is one of my patronesses. She's my first patroness. I don't know, it's a toss-up between her and Ganesha, but she's one of the first. Um, and I would like to honor her during this new moon service coming up on Monday. So that is what I'm planning. And I want to let you know, I would just want to go over some details about Hecate and also about the new moon and the eclipse and all of that kind of happening all at once so that you're prepared. And if you need to come up with some new petitions or some new um, goals or prayers, or maybe we can modify the ones that you already have, then now would be a good time to do that. But if you can get them into me at least one day before the service, so on Sunday, that would be perfect. I do often spend the whole day preparing for a group service, so on Monday morning I may not be getting those petitions in time. So Hecate is Queen of the Witches. She had a very powerful witch that was devoted her to her named Medea, and she was a famous herbalist in mythology. So she is connected to um, witchcraft and she's connected to herbalism and she's connected to healing through herbalism. Um, those are some really significant attributes of her as well as feminism. Feminist power, um, taking back feminist power, um, protect, protecting women, protecting women from, especially from abusive men or from injustice, gaining retribution for women who are in unjust situations, protecting mothers and children. Um, she's also, she's a gatekeeper of sorts. She is a um, psychopont, meaning that she, what, or psychopomp, I'm, I'm so sorry, psychopomp is the correct word. So she was a, um, she's a guide between the worlds. She was in some, uh, some stories and some mythologies. She's, she is present in both Greek and Roman mythology. Okay. So there are different stories and there are also, she has a really old history, which is mostly buried. So there are some conflicts, um, in her mythology. So that's why some of the things that I say will will sound as if it's not um, completely solid. So when I say in some stories, she was a guide between the worlds. She wasn't in all stories. Um, so she led humans from the upper world to the underworld. That was one of her roles. Um, not necessarily because they were they were dying, um, but sometimes just when people are going on a kind of vision quest or when they need to get hidden information or they need to get guidance from the underworld, they need to uncover things that are hidden to them or they need to travel into the shadows to dig up the the deep knowledge that is there or the treasures that lie deep within them that they have hidden to themselves. Um, so she's great for uncovering things in our shadow self, which corresponds very nicely to the eclipse. With the eclipse is, um, all eclipses are considered a doorway, a doorway to our subconscious mind and a doorway to go deeper within ourselves if we so choose to, to let it affect us that way or if we are um, open to that energy. Um, so that's definitely something that we can take advantage of. Eclipses will give us a glimpse into our things that are hidden in our subconscious mind, things that may be 
triggers, blockages, old problems, obstacles that need to be worked on. And Hecate can help us uncover those as well as help us work on those, help us heal those, especially if they are relating to issues of femininity, issues of relationships, um, things of that nature, but really any kind of healing, any kind of digging up what needs to be gotten to and learning how to heal and release it. Sometimes it's not just about healing. Sometimes it's not about healing at all. Sometimes it's about just releasing it, acknowledging or recognizing and releasing. So those are some ways that we can work with this energy for the new moon service. Um, Hecate sheds lights, light on things. As I was mentioning, she's a torch bearer, um, guardian between the worlds, as a gateway guardian, as that kind of um, crossroads deity. There are always things associated with crossroads deities that relate to removing obstacles, removing blockages. This does not just have to be about your subconscious mind. This can also be about uh, your physical world, your day-to-day -day life, um, any kind of real and concrete obstacles and blockages that you may be coming up against, anything that is uh, making it difficult for you to um, accomplish your goals or to gain what you're trying to gain or attain the growth that you're trying to attain um, to, get, to get to where you need to go. So those are things that you can also keep in mind of course, the new moon is always about new beginnings. It's a great time to have blessings for... A bird just caught my attention. Um, it's a great time to have blessings for um, new projects, new... This particular new moon in conjunction with, with Hecate and, and in conjunction with this eclipse, it would be a great time to have blessings for new goals pertaining to self-growth or self-healing. Um, that would be wonderful. I think that I have covered everything that I would like to cover about Hecate. I think I've given you some good information on what kinds of goals and petitions and prayers would be most appropriate for this new moon service. Of course, if you have something that you're working on and that you've been working on um, on a consistent basis, there's no need to change that if you don't want to. But if there's some way that you can find to work on a different facet of it. If you, if something in this video clicks with you and you're able to see that there's a different facet of it that needs to be worked on, maybe there's a truth that you need to uncover. Maybe there's a hidden obstacle that you need to uncover in order to get to the goal that you're trying to accomplish. Perhaps there is something hidden within your subconscious mind like a, a fear or a self-destructive, an idea that is self-destructive to you. Old, outdated modes of thinking, outdated modes of being that you, that are holding you back at this point. Things that you need to release and let go so that you can now move forward on this new moon and after this big eclipse. People are saying a lot of really interesting things about the, this eclipse. It is also happening during Mercury retrograde, um, which means there can be difficulties with communication and technology, things of that nature. Retrograde is also is a time to um, to go to be introspective. It's a time to um, take a step back and look at old things that need to be healed. So that that also relates to all of these things that, all of these things are relating together. So it's a really powerful time to look at this stuff. What needs to be healed? What needs to be gotten through so that we can move forward? Um, there are a bunch of other planets in retrograde. You, you know I'm not an astrologer, but I'm learning more about astrology all the time as it relates to my work. Um, People are also saying there are there's a big shift coming with this eclipse. I feel it. I've been uh, I see it as evidence in my work. I see it as evidence in the um, in the clients that I'm dealing with and in the problems that other people are having when I'm doing my phone readings and when people are coming to me um, with the things that are going on in their lives right now. There's a big shift coming and a lot of people are kind of on edge. So. 
um, it's a really great time to kind of take matters into your own hands. Take, let's take some initiative. Let's figure out what we need to work on. Let's be proactive about this energy and figure out how to use it to our advantage. Okay. Thanks so much, guys. Thanks for watching and blessed be.